guys what's up uh, in this episode we are going to learn how to install uh, anaconda for uh, python package management and install python using anaconda we are going to install opencv and we are going to set up uh, our environment using jupyter notebook so to install anaconda you have to go to anaconda so okay go to sit you just go to google type anaconda because i didn't remember the exact url uh, so this is anaconda.com uh, go to download and here you can choose windows mac os linux which are version of operating system that you are using and I'm using Mac OS that's why I'm using Mac and I can uh, use 3.7 or you can use 2.7 doesn't matter because anyway we are going to create a new environment at that time we are going to install a specific version of Python so go ahead and download any of these it will install uh, Anaconda in your system uh, so I have already done it so I'm not going to do that again uh, so once your installation is done, you uh, open your, your terminal and uh, type conda activate. So this will activate your anaconda. So by default it should be activated once you install but uh, sometimes if it doesn't you just have to type this and uh, for windows users you have to open there is a new program uh, command prompt in your star, uh, start menu you just have to type anaconda prompt and that will open up uh, anaconda terminal for you once you, uh, you are in the terminal you can uh, type conda see if if any if it is coming like this that means you are good to go uh, now what we are going to do we are going to create a new environment for our project so we will create a conda create minus n now we will give the name of our environment let's say it will be Podacus tutorial and it will create a new environment so what is the environment is all about so uh, let's press yes yeah. uh, so environment is a uh, uh, encapsulation in anaconda where you can encapsulate your entire python environment uh, all the python uh, installation and packages in one particular environment so when you when you are using one environment anything that you have installed in that environment you will be able to access it but when you switch to another environment you will be only able to access those things which is installed in that environment so it's like a separation so that way you can uh, use python version 2 in one environment or say at the same time you can use python version 3 in another environment uh, without uninstalling and installing again and again so we have created this environment conda activate so we when you type conda activate and the name of the environment it will activate that environment so the name of the environment was codecus tutorial i'm just copying it from here so if you see currently we are at the base environment so anaconda comes with this environment now if we type conda activate the environment name you will see the environment change from base to conda tutorial uh, codecus tutorial now we have installed the anaconda we now have to install a specific python version in our environment so what we, how we will do that conda install python now you can specify a version here or if you enter it will pick the latest version 
and if you want to specify a version let's say i want to use 3.7 then i will specify it like this it will take some time It's taking a little bit more time. Okay, so it's asking us that to install Python, these are the dependent uh, packages it is going to install. And is it going to show us the size? Okay, no. So these are the additional package along with Python will be installed uh, to support Python. If you say yes, it will get installed, otherwise, it will get aborted. So we'll say yes. And it is installing. So if you see along with Python, we also have pip install. So what we will do, we will type where pip. And if you see the first line, if it says environment slash codex tutorial bin pip, that means your pip uh, is at the correct uh, directory. So now, if you install type direct, if you directly type pip, it will point, it will install all your uh, dependencies in the codex environment, not in somewhere else or in your system environment or anywhere else. Uh, you should always check that. Uh, in case it is not appearing, then you can just uh, close the terminal and open it again and activate the environment and it sh you should be able to see pip in your uh, uh, this uh, pip in your uh, environment line in the first line uh, now we have installed python we have installed conda and now we have to install opencv so we are going to use opencv for our all the computer visions and image processing applications so to use to install opencv we are going to use pip so pip install now we have to give the package name so it is opencv python i'm guessing or python opencv i'm a little bit confused on that okay it got the package it's installing op python opencv so uh, you can also see it's installing numpy so numpy is a dependent package dependency package of opencv so now you can see both of them are installed uh, so we have our basic necessary packages installed but let's install another thing which is called the jupyter notebook or rather we are going to install jupyter lab uh, and we are going to use Jupyter Lab for our initial development. So, pip install Jupyter Lab. So, the Jupyter is basically Julia, Python, and R. So, that's why that spelling is like J U P Y T E R. Just for a quick info. So it is uh, downloading all the dependent packages and installing each of them. okay so it is installed let's open jupyter before that let's confirm it again where jupyter so again where jupyter will give us the exact path from where we are execute, executing our command so you can see it's coming from codagus tutorial that means we are in the correct path so let's open jupyter 
Jupiter Space Lab. This will open up our Jupiter Lab. I think there is some thing coming up, but it's not an issue. I had few things open previously so when you open Jupyter lab in your uh, home directory it will open all your folders and files so we don't want to do that uh, what we will do uh, we will first close this so to close this you press ctrl C and then and Y to press yes confirm uh, so what we will do we are going to create a folder here in the desktop or wherever you want to create uh, we are going to name it uh, Codacus Tutorial any name is fine and inside this uh, inside this folder we are going to uh, do all our work. So how we are going to go, go to that this folder? We are going to do use CD. Then we are currently at the home folder, so we have to go to desktop first. So desktop, then go to the tutorial. Okay. Now we are at the code of the tutorial. Let's open Jupyter Lab here. So all our files will be created inside this folder. Okay. So here is the interface of Jupyter Lab. So we got notebook, we have console. This is a basically a Python interpreter. We have terminal. This is the same thing that we have got here. Yeah, we can get text file, markdown, some show context and everything and here we have our file manager. Uh, let's open up a notebook and you can see it's appearing in the untitled notebook. You can save it or we can let's rename it. That will be fine. So here we have our Jupyter Lab setup. We can add a terminal and we can drag this handle here. We can drag it down to bottom like this. And we can have multiple things open on it's a very nice cool thing. Uh, let's try Python, let's say a equals one, two, three, four, and to execute this, so okay, so this is Jupyter Notebook. So those who don't know Jupyter Notebook, it's like a editor, but uh, it's also a, uh, it's like a blog post. Uh, you can uh, write cool uh, documents and uh, along with your code, where your code will run inside your document. So uh, you have blocks, you have different kinds of blocks. So this is a code block. Uh, let's open up a new block. Okay, so you can create a new block like the, uh, by clicking on the plus button or if you click a, uh, click a block here and press B, it will create a new block below. You can move blocks up and down and press D twice to delete that block cell. So, deleted the block or cell, whatever you want to call it. Now, to execute a block, you can click on this, or if you want to execute only by hotkey, you can press Shift Enter. So, it will execute that particular cell and create a new cell below. Uh, now, we can have a markdown block. So if you click on this block and press M, it will become markdown or you can go here and you can select markdown here. So uh, markdown is like uh, if you ever have used git readme. So that is markdown. So 
it is like a similar almost uh, like an html but it has its own uh, syntax and you can create a uh, cool documents uh, good looking you can decorate your code with a uh, few documentations along with it so if you see me here uh, so it is like uh, hash then I type this is heading and if I press shift enter it will be like this at the same time I can have one two three a is equal to one two three or print a so at the same time I have my I have my header I have my paragraph along with my code but it gives you a cool way of representing your uh, research or whatever code that you are developing with in a notebook style in a blog post style okay so we have set up our Jupyter notebook now let's try we have open cv install or not import cv2 uh, okay i would like to use cv2 only it is taking some time okay so you can see cv2 is installed we can we are good to go 